this has to be one of the loosest chains I've seen. Have a look at this. It's really hard to film, but... Uh, screwdriver. Now that's pretty loose. So it seems like they have never even tightened it at all on this engine, which uh, is very odd. So let us do that. Welcome back to the Lomitha Classic. I'm here with this Daimler Coupe that you've seen quite a lot on the channel. This is the one that was right-hand drive that I converted to left-hand drive and we took it to the summer meet a couple weeks ago. Um, it came back here afterwards just to finish off a couple things. If you remember, we rushed a couple things just to get it there. Um, it has some slight mechanical things we're going to do. It needs an alignment and I have some panels to put on on the inside and some electrics to finish off. However, one thing it needs is it has a noisy upper timing chain. You can hear it when the engine is running, especially idling, and it doesn't sound that great. The XK engine has two timing chains, a lower and the upper one. Lower one you can't adjust, the upper one is manually adjustable. There's a special tool, it's this one. You can get it from any Jag parts supplier because it works on all the XK engines. However, I've also shown in a previous video that you can adjust this without the tool, just with some circle pliers, it works pretty well. Uh, but I have the tool, so we're gonna use it. To adjust the chain, you really just remove the breather here at the front of the engine, uh, loosen up a lock nut, put that in, and you turn it anti-clockwise to tighten the chain. A lot of people think it's clockwise, and that's why a lot of chains are incorrectly tightened or loose. Also, if you move it all the way clockwise, you will technically interfere with the timing of the cams. I mean, it's not gonna be interference or anything, but it's not gonna be perfect. However, I like to do this when the cam covers are off because then you can feel the tension on the chain and make sure that you're not over tightening it. Because this tool is actually pretty strong, so you can pretty easily over tighten the chain. Some people say, oh, you should tighten them like crazy. Well, no, you shouldn't. They should be tight, but not overly tight. Um, other reason that we're taking the cam covers off is I'm gonna paint them for the owner and polish them up. And on the exhaust bank, I'm gonna install a stake down kit, which will be a separate video. Um, so yeah, step one is really just getting the breather off, cam co covers off, and then we'll have a look at the whole mechanism. So let me get this all apart and we'll dig down in there. Everything should be loose now. Some light hats with a rubber mallet. And that's off. And that was one side. I'll get the intake side off. These are going to soak in my parts washer overnight. And then I can just sand them down and give them some nice paint. Uh, but let me get that one off. Then I'll get you guys in for a close look at the timing chain tensioner and we'll put some tension on the chain. Here, I'll have a closer look at the tensioner. So those are the two holes that the tool goes into. And when you put the tool in, it pushes in this locking part here, which they're usually a little bit stuck. You can tap them a little bit in, and that moves away um, from the teeth here on the side, and it makes so you can turn this thing backwards and forwards. First thing you need to do is loosen the lock nut here. What I like to do before that is I just stuff a bit of a rag in here, loosen that one slightly, and then you can start turning the adjustment. If you feel here, it doesn't feel too bad, but it is, that side's worse. It is definitely pretty loose. Let me loosen that up. I'm going to try and set up the camera somehow to show you guys, and we will tighten it. And remember, it is counterclockwise to tighten, clockwise to loosen. Make it a little bit easier to understand. I grabbed the manual to show you guys. Here are some great pictures. So you can see the lower timing chain goes up there, and then you have the upper timing chain there. And there's a the tensioner there we're seeing. That's what it looks like with the tool in place. And... Like it says, rotate tool in an anti-clockwise direction and do not use undue force. So now you sort of see what it looks like. There is the other 
chain tensioner down there. So let me set this up for you guys and uh, hopefully we can get it tightened correctly. A rag is just there in case this were to fly off for some reason to fall down. It will most likely skip on here and fall out, but there's really no chance of that happening. But we're being overly precautious. 11 16th works. Um, the reason I, you may know if you watch the channel, that I love these sort of swivel um, wrenches, but there's a reason for it for this job. It's too big to fall down into the engine. So that's something to be mindful of. These can be kind of tight. That one wasn't too bad. So you don't need to loosen it too much. Or you shouldn't loosen it too much because it's going to go flying out. That is pretty good. The locking part is still quite stiff in there. I'm going to grab a punch. Just tap that a couple times and then we can get the tool in there and I'm going to try and get you guys in for a closer look. It is very tight and difficult to film this thing. So it is the next day and I was in having a look at the footage when I adjusted the chain and it was really difficult to really see anything. I can show you that the chain is tight now so I thought I want to show this properly and I realized well I have a couple engines on the ground so I'm going to show you on an engine so you can sort of more easily see what the tool is actually doing because it's really difficult to film up there. Um, but I'll show you the chain is tight now as it should be and then I'll show you on the spare engine as well. So there is no longer any excessive play down here but once again it's not too much. You can still move the chain a little bit so not too much play but it's down there. What I also recommend doing is turning the engine over a couple times and then check again. Maybe you want to tighten a little bit more. I will be doing that as well now because uh, the owner asked me that while I have this apart, just check the valve clearance, maybe not adjust it now, but just check that nothing's too tight. And then I'll be cleaning up these wells here and doing a stake down kit installation, but that will be in a future video for you guys. But let's have a look at a spare engine I have and I'll show you really what the tool does. Now in the corner of my workshop over here, we have the engine. So this is turned all the way to the right now. So the chain is slackened off. So you can push that in. And as you start turning the tool, it will cover it up. And you turn it anti-clockwise and then start. It's very difficult to use one handed, but it's easier to film here at least. And then there we go. A little bit of tension on there. Seems pretty good. We can actually, these are just on here loose, whip this off. And you see, same thing as before. And the one thing I can show you here is, uh, I'll get a light and I'll show you guys the adjuster in there. You see how it moves back and forth. Okay, tools back on. Have a look at the sprocket there. I will slacken the chain now. You see it moves. Like once again, this is incredibly annoying to do one-handed, but let's see. There, it moves down. Or I mean it moves up, and then as I start tightening it. It moves down and puts pressure on the chain. All right, difficult to film, but you sort of get the idea. Make sure that this pops back out again and then tighten the locking nut back down and you're ready to go. Anyways, that is it for this video. Hope that was clear and showing the tool. If you want to get one, you can order it from any Jag part supplier. It fits all XK engines. It's not very expensive, so uh, it's not a bad thing to have, or maybe you have a friend you can borrow it or from a local club, something like that. Um, but it's one of those things, it's not, if you hear that your chain is noisy, definitely have a look at it. But if you have your cam covers off for another reason, and it's freaking leaks, it's a good time to just check the tension of your chain. Um, 
I will do a stake down kit video, like I said, so that will come in a couple of videos or so. The engine I was showing there on the ground is the old engine from my daily driver. It's just sitting there, has a crack block. Uh, would you like to see an engine disassembly video on that? Because I want to take it apart and just because it's easier for me to move it up into storage in bits because it's lighter and I need to carry it up the stairs and I can't really do that with a complete engine. Also, because there's something wrong with the head, I want to, you know, maybe use that for something um, and just take it apart. Would you like to see an XK engine complete disassembly video? Or maybe we can see what actually failed on that engine. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Till next time, I'm Adam. This was a little bit of a classic. I'll see you soon.